Thanks so much. From devastating landslides to flash floods, rainy weather has already caused millions of dollars worth of damage, and the year is just getting started. A disaster emergency was declared today in Allegheny County, and Ralph Iannotti is live with more on what that means. Ralph. Yeah, thank you very much, Susan. Tonight, uh, weather-related problems, specifically the threat of rising water, has once again closed the Mon Wharf and the 10th Street bypass just behind me. You probably can see a PennDOT crew there at this hour, uh, presumably cleaning out the drains, anticipating uh, some flooding here. Now, it's not reassuring, but June is the wettest month of the year in the Pittsburgh area. And, of course, that raises concerns about uh, potentially more flooding and, of course, more landslides. As western Pennsylvania continues to feel the nonstop wrath of Mother Nature, the landslides and flooding because of the record rainfall have become more than just a nuisance. Oh, my God. I was just thanking God that nobody was in there. Nobody got hurt. The cost of damage to both public and private property continues to mount. Municipal budgets are stretched or, in some cases, completely exhausted. And with more rain expected this week, officials are gearing up for more possible problems. Allegheny County Executive Rich Fitzgerald. Disaster emergency, which, among other things, allows communities impacted by situations like landslides to waive bid and contract procedures, which are usually required by law. This would be the best way to give municipalities the flexibility to move quickly through the bidding process and through the things that they've got to go through, um, including us at the county. And also, hopefully, this will help us with some funding that we're going to try to get from both the state and the federal government. The Greenleaf slide in Pittsburgh has been a major drain on the city's landslide budget. The city this year could spend five or six times what they normally spend annually on landslides and cleanup, perhaps topping $12 million. The grinds are so saturated, the hillsides are so uh, vulnerable at this point. Um, th those that haven't come down yet or those that haven't had the, the problems are, are vulnerable to having it happen. So we want to make sure that, that folks have the ability, have the tools they need uh, to move quickly. So again, uh, drivers should be aware the 10th Street bypass closed and the Mon Wharf closed again tomorrow. We're live tonight downtown. I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.